An interesting game to do because Michigan played so well at the beginning. They were up 20 to 10. And then we had uh, Gary Grant getting in foul trouble. He went out. Indiana nearly blew them away, went on a 32 to 10 run. Then in the second half, Indiana gets way ahead. Looks like it's going to be a blowout. And we said Michigan wouldn't quit, and they didn't. And we also talked about how get, we pointed out how Steve Warford's clutch. We pointed out the comeback against Louisville, the comeback against Ohio State. Take a look at Mr. Clutch right now. Take a look at Mr. Basketball in Indiana. There he is, tough, an Olympic winner, the all Doug Flutie member, a kid that gets the maximum out of his talent. You gotta love him. You gotta love him. Look at him. Look at him. All his life, a big W on his chest. Just put it right there. W for a winner. Alford is simply a winner, and now he's running off the court with his teammate. <laughs> Look at the high step by Hillman. He's hugging him. He said, I love you, Steve. I hey, love he's, you. He's protecting him. I'd protect him, too. I'll tell you what. Of course, they left the court because the clock had run down to zero, but they came back and determined the time had been called with one second left, and that's where we stand right now. What I was impressed with was Bobby Knight's sprint to the locker room. What a dance he did. Now, watch this. Oh, they're not pressuring the ball coming in. Kramer length to the floor. It's over. And they let it go out of bounds. Didn't touch anyone, so Indiana gets the ball back There will still here. be one second left. But at least Indiana will be underneath the Michigan basket. So even if Michigan would intercept. Yeah, you bring it back now. Indiana gets the ball. I don't know. There's no way they can get an L. All they have to do is get the ball in bounds, touch somebody, and it's over. And it's over. They get the trifecta. Three road trip wins. Indiana goes to 12-1, and one, and the fourth-ranked Hoosiers are still undefeated in the Big Ten, 3-0. and oh, Their best start in the conference since 1976. Michigan loses a heartbreaker. They go to 9-6. and six. Our final score again, Indiana 85, Michigan 84 here at Ann Arbor.